it's Chloe. So for today's video, I'm outside first of all. I decided to film outdoors because it is finally nice weather here in England. As I'm outside, I'm working with natural lighting. So if the sun does go down a bit in this video, my apologies for that. Also, you can hear a lot of background noises like the birds tweeting a lot, but I guess it's like a nice sound. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing March favourites. I know this is really, really late and I know we're like starting April already. I've been really busy and I haven't been able to do this properly for a while. And I don't want to miss a single month this year as I vow to do every single month. At least I am still doing it, so here it is. So without talking any much more, let's just get into it. So I'm going to start with clothing and all the clothes I got for this month favourites are from New Look so if you'd like to go get them you can go but this video is not sponsored. So the first item of clothing I got were these jogging bottoms. It's pretty hard to see but they are so so nice. So they're just grey plain. They're quite baggy around the leg part which I really like and they're really really comfy inside like the materials are really warm. And I know it's spring now but lounging around the house and that they have come in handy and I love them so much. They're tight around the ankle which I really like because then they're not baggy and then around the waist it's really fitted but it's like double padded around here to make it look bigger so you'd think it's quite baggy on me but it's not at all and then the pockets are really deep which I really like because I can store a lot in there so my next piece of clothing again is from New Look and it is this big jumper so the bit I really really love about this is because one of the sh um, shoulders is cut off and I really like it how it's on one shoulder kind of feels like it's baggy I don't know it's nice I love the colour it's like a purpley pink kind of colour like a lilac and then I love the arms because they're so like 1970s kind of style um, where they're like I think it's 70s where the jeans are flared at the bottom but that's like what the arms are so they're really baggy around the arms and really really like long and in it's it is my size so it's not like not meant to be there it's like purposely like that but I really like it it's quite oversizey feel it, it is my size but it kind of like feels quite big which is nice because it's kind of cozy I know I'm wearing I'm like showing you all these like not spring type clothes but England can still be cold and so we always have to stock up on clothes like this. It's really fashionable, it's really cozy, and I really like it. You can dress up any outfit and it can look like you've made an effort, but you really haven't. And now for the last piece of clothing. Well, it's not really clothes, but it's shoes, and these are so, so gorgeous. The colour's kind of similar to the jumper, so they match. Um, but I have a bag exactly this colour, so it really suits, and that picture's on my Instagram of these shoes in my bag. So it's kind of this, like, suede material. It's, like, really, really nice and vintage -y. They are the most comfiest shoes I've ever ever put on they are so so nice and they're really fitted a lovely color as well they also came in like white gray and blue but I, I like the gray as well I couldn't really decide so I might get the gray as well I'm not sure and these were also from New Look so I got a load of stuff from New Look and I, I love them a lot so that's all I have for the clothing items so now I'm going to go on to makeup so the first item you've already seen me talk about is my new foundation the L'Oreal True Match uh, super blendable foundation um, I won't go too much in depth with this because I've done a whole review video on that so you can go check that out I'll have an eye card and a link in the description but I love this foundation I've been wearing it every time I do my makeup I don't wear my makeup to school I mostly only wear makeup to parties or on camera and I do this works like a dream so I really really like it so the next product is the same uh, brand but in powder spoke about this already love how it mattifies my makeup and uh, gives a really natural looking look but again I'm not going to talk about too much about this because I have a video on that next I have two lipsticks so the first one I've had for a while which is Rimmel London Kate and this is shade 42 and I really like it it's a really glossy so it's not matte but it's a nude color like really light I've got it on today um, I just feel like it makes any like glammed makeup look a little like it tones it down when you've got a lot of makeup on you don't want a too dramatic lip so I do like how this looks it's really moisturizing and then the other lipstick is this one which is so gorgeous it's literally like a rose gold matte lipstick but it's not it is from the brand revolution I think um, but I got given it and it is in the shade Ch Shelf 
matcha fur i'm not sure it's like a purpley brown color it's really really nice it's not a matte again surprisingly because i only wear mattes but um these two lipsticks are really really toned down this is kind of a darker one if you have minimal makeup on but you'd like a nicer looking lip but you don't want a matte and it's moisturizing then i like this one i also place this in between two matte lipsticks and on my desk and it looks really really pretty they are exactly the same shape and size so i think they've kind of tried to copy just a little bit but i love it and i do wear this in a lot of videos i have this on in my upcoming video i think so the very last makeup product i have for this month is this revolution palette and for definitely so many reasons i've been really loving the matte eye looks lately and really really toned down like brown eye looks and i will maybe do a video on it one day i'm not sure but this palette has been like a lifesaver for it because it is so so pretty i love all the shades in it but mostly this is in my favorites because of this third shade in it's difficult to show you i just was doing swatches on this palette and it looks like the most amazing highlighter every highlight i seem to buy don't seem to do justice like they look good on swatches but they don't seem to last but i've been putting this on my brow bone my cupid's bone my nose my inner corners and as a normal highlight and it is amazing it's so so pigmented and for an eyeshadow i know it's an eyeshadow it's been looking so so nice it's on my cheek here cheek here and my cubis bow and my nose i'm not too sure how well it's picking up on camera because i'm outside but i did put this on and i know it's an eyeshadow but i'm gonna use it as a highlighter because it's so so good so i definitely recommend this palette for the matte eyeshadows you can get a really natural looking um, eye look the pigmentation is quite medium so you don't get something too strong but not something that you can't see um they're really buildable i can i literally in a single eye look can use every single color in this because they just all match together it's a really nice palette is the name on here red Emption palette iconic elements i'm not sure if that's the name of it it's a really nice feel it's quite thin it's big it's really nice the only thing i would ask for is a better brush because the brush is like one of those sponge applicators which nobody uses i don't use them anyway i use a brush and then for a mirror here but you can't go wrong with this palette i really really like it this month's favorites have all been like makeup and clothes but that's all like i've been loving this month so maybe next month there'll be things other than that so i hope you guys did enjoyed this video sorry i haven't been great on my a game with the videos lately i've been very busy i've become very much more active on all my social medias like instagram twitter and facebook I've really got my a game back on my instagram i've got a new theme with my pictures i made it a bit more professional but i'm also so so active i post every single day and i'm i really like in contact with you guys all my links to all my social medias will be down below especially my instagram i've been so so on that lately so loving instagram so definitely go follow me on there i hope you guys like this video and all the favorites i had this month obviously we're in april now so i've already started collecting favorites for this month so stay tuned to the end of the month for that video subscribe if you have not subscribed already we're trying to get to 700 subscribers and that'd be so great if we got there give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it i love you guys so very much and i will see you in my next video 